So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to The Escapist 2. So a huge thank you to Team17 and also Razbowski for supplying me with a code for this game. This looks super awesome guys and I did play The Escapist 1 but I mean I didn't escape. However in this edition we are going to be analysing every situation so much more so and finally escaping. I have been practicing my skills though guys because I know as I'm taking off a door from this side right here I gotta also look the other way. Yep, I mean, I practiced doing this, but getting out of it, <clears throat> I, I, not so much so. I think I'll leave that ability for a time where I've actually practiced it more so. For now, let's jump into this game and see exactly what The Escapist 2 has to offer. Play game, my character's criminal record, oh, goodness. Play versus leaderboards and options. You know what, man? We are going to dive straight into playing this freaking game, so here we go. The Escapist 2 is a sandbox game where your goal is to escape from prison. There are many different things you can do in the game and many different ways to escape each prison. How you escape is up to you. If you're new to The Escapist 2, a good place to start is Precinct 17. It's a short tutorial that will teach you the controls. So we're going to check out Precinct 17. I need to actually recoup myself with the controls and learn these again. As well, there may be a few newcomers to the series, so let's explore this one together. Here we freaking go, dude. We are in prison. Wait, what the freak? Uh, this looks super chill. Put yourself in my shoes for a minute and I'll talk you through it. So, these guys son. Wait, is this post? So this is how it played out. Yep, looks like we escaped and we're about to experience what happened just before. So we're asleep in our prison. Lights out. This is our little face in the top corner there. So I got up one morning and I thought to myself, enough is enough. I wanted out. It was time to leave this place. So I got out of bed and ran over to the desk. I opened the desk with E and grabbed everything from inside it using the left mouse button. So just like so. I crafted a weapon by pressing Q to check the items that I needed to craft. Wait, did we just drag these two together like so? Oh wait, we popped them in there and then we simply click craft. Okay, and we get a freaking sock mace? Dang! When you're executing an elaborate escape plan, the key to success is not to draw attention to yourself. I use the yellow arrow, which could guide me to the next routine roll call. This looks awesome compared to the last one, man. I'm just checking this out, dude. A roll call, trying my best to keep calm. I wonder, did they know I was up to something? Okay, I couldn't read that. The question's about to get their cell search. Ah. Oh boy, will it be ours? I mean, we've got the goods on us anyway, so it might be good. Bob and Chuck? Cast a fear aside as I had done with modern values my whole life, an inmate called Chuck was of interest to me. I had a hunch the green arrow by the stairs was trying to tell me something. All right, so let's go and head on over here. And up we go. Oh, I see. And then we can keep heading down. This prison is really awesome, man. Okay, we head over to this guy. With nobody looking, I equip the sock mace using tab, but fueled with desire to get out of this place. I attack with the left mouse button in an attempt to knock him out. And all we gotta do is click the freaking left mouse button. Take that, Chuck, you dingus! With Chuck unconscious, I looted the key from him using E to access his pockets and left mouse button to swiftly get to the evacuation room, I think. Oh, shoot. This woman is carrying him away. Okay, we're gonna check this desk here. Opening. Should be good. What the freak is this? A pickaxe. All right, we're gonna take that. I knew the exact place to use my tools. Once more, I used the green arrow to guide me. This is really cool, man. So we're gonna head back downstairs and freaking escape this joint already. Hold E on the bed sheet. Okay, we took the bed sheet right there. When standing next to it, I equipped it using the tab and hung it on the cell bars. I think we did it. Yep, we did it. Are you familiar with the phrase out of sight, out of mind? Well, on that note, with the pickaxe equipped, I chipped away at the cell using space. All right, looks like no one's freaking looking. And this is gonna get us access to, I guess, the room there with the green door, which was probably sealed before. With my energy levels low, luckily it was meal time. Using the green arrow, I headed to the food hall. I should probably put this weapon away as well. Like, I don't want anyone seeing that. So, okay, we're good. All right, let's take a seat and eat the freaking junk. Okay, we're seeing it. Yep, we saw that in the bottom left-hand corner right there. Our energy levels went sky high again. 25% now. One more to go and we are freaking good, dude. Away from prying eyes, I opened the desk with E and grabbed everything from inside it by highlighting each item at a time. There we go. We've taken both of those. An adrenaline shot and what was that? Robinson's cutters? Holding E, I picked up the desk and placed it down beneath the vent on the marked spot by pressing E. Then we need to pop this guy just there. The officer is right outside there. We should be okay. We need to use the adrenaline shot, I think, then. So consume that guy. We need to use those cutters, actually, to cut through the wire just there. Looks like it's doing the job, I think. Let's see if they break. And 50%, one more. All right, let's press E. Now we're in the vent. I made it to the right. I equipped my cutters and cut through and closed the vent cover using space. So we gotta head over here and do the same thing again. I think cut through this one and get out of here. All right, we can drop back down by pressing E as well. Wait, what the freak is this? Oh, boy. Um, um, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Can we get out? Can we get out? Wait, what's going on? We're in lockdown right now. Come on. Come on. Oh, shoot. He's coming. He's coming. Are we through? Hold up. Are we got to dig. We got to keep digging out. Come on. Come on. We gotta be good. And we escaped no way. Across the car park, I saw what looked like something useful. As the sun burned into my retinas and fresh from the darkness, I staggered across the car park and picked the sun kiss glistening iron by pressing E. We got some more cutters by the looks of things. Perfect. I got my hands on some cutters. I moved to the fence to equip my cutters and set about jumping the last hurdle by pressing space to begin cutting. Here we go. There is some dude waiting right there with a freaking hat. Um, I don't know if he's good or not. I'm hoping so. Let's just keep this moving anyway. With the prison in lockdown, here we go. We escaped and that was it. Here we are then. So then 
we enjoyed the beach. Bliss. Thanks. I'm surprised I haven't been caught yet, though. I doubt they'll ever catch me now. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't speak too soon, bro. I mean, you're kind of chilling on a beach. And who would have thought that? Who saw that coming? No one? No? Really? What took you so long? I mean, dang, look at the boats and stuff they got for one person. I got him, though. I guess he got some free time. He knew he was going to be caught, but, you know, here we go. We escaped Precinct 17. Let's keep continuing with this one, then. We're now going to move on to a separate prison, and we got to figure this out all for ourselves. The next one in line is Center Parks 2.0. After a ridiculous amount of escapes and a devastating review from the inspection committee, the warden of Center Parks declared to rip his beloved prison down and rebuild a more secure version. But as the saying goes, some people never learn. So what, they freaking cheap out some corners? Because I'm going to find out, I'm telling you. This is the first proper prison. However, the guards won't let you have everything your own way. This is a challenging game. Follow the yellow arrow to attend routines and keep a low profile. Explore the prison while keep a lookout for any weaknesses. Find the materials you need to craft any tools for your escape and try to keep your heat and security level low to avoid trouble from guards. And here we go. This is our first look. We can choose our character as well. I think we're going to take Clive. You know, he was the first one as well that we got given the option to be. Here we go. Welcome to Center Park 2.0. Your reform starts here. Roll call is mandatory. The prison will lock down if you are not present. The food served in our canteen is a great source of health and energy. Uh, you shouldn't be telling me that, you know, because I'm going to break out with that advice. Escape attempts will be reported to our control room. I mean, rightly so. They do have a lockdown there. You can see that is a security room. I wonder if we can shut that down. Increase your intelligence by reading our books. Do they realize they're literally giving me the key tips in order to escape their prison? No wonder there's been so many escape attempts. And use our gym and equipment to increase your strength and speed. You can also earn money by visiting the job offers right there. We will allocate one of these rooms for you to stay in. As you can see, we have a film crew with us for a while. Dang. All right, so we've probably got to be careful and avoid where they are if we're trying to escape because that could be awkward, you know? And here we go. We are now locked in. This is super interesting. Currently in lights out mode. All right, and off goes the ballot. Man, this is so cool. I remember so much of this from the first one, even though I was bad, you know? Let's not remind me about that. We're going to play this one like it's brand new and fresh, though. Let's see what Roll Call has to offer. All the inmates appearing. I see that. That, that dude's got a baseball bat. Is that, is that okay to bring to Roll Call? Can I do that? Cells getting checked today. Ah, uh, oh boy. This could be bad. Could be. Charlie and Camille. All right, interesting stuff so far then. And already people are like freaking fine in this junk. Like, I gotta see this. What the freak? They got superpowers as well? It looks like the first thing we do then is grab ourselves some breakfast. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got to try and mingle in. And by the way, is this guy freaking... Does he joke set the guy? Yeah, I thought it did. Looks like we're going to get our food. There is so much going on. This is insane. People are literally getting KO'd left, right, and center. This prison is not safe whatsoever. You know what, actually? In this time, I think I'm good. I want to talk to some people. Nothing wrong with looking good, right? Except I don't because I'm lacking a medical outfit. Care to assist? Reward? Uh, I mean, we may as well accept. There's no harm in not doing it. Uh, I hope. Hopefully, I don't get freaking punished for doing that. Let's see what Jack wanting to do. Oh, great. I just had a fight with him. <laughs> Officers, you freaking saw that. Like, he punched me first. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. I mean, I can't have that, man. So there's a lot to take in initially. We kind of get a nice flow to this, though, I feel. We're in free time at the minute, so here's where we explore the prison. All right, we got a mop, stuff like that right there. Police are definitely patrolling like no freaking tomorrow. So the green doors here, I think those ones are going to be what's locked. We can actually go in the inmate cells and see what goods they got. Although, do they have anything? Desks can be climbed on. Okay, so let's actually climb on top of this thing. We're seeing above here. Few vents. Okay, we're going to use that. Some ideas in how we're going to escape. I actually don't know what I'm going to do to escape this one, though. There seems to be a load of different methods we can do. I'm just going to find objectives to do. I think as well, you can only have one objective for any given day. It seems like as I was accepting more, the other ones kind of disappeared. So we've got to go and do our job. Let's head on in here. I guess what we do is sit down and uh, I think we're good. You have to attend the job office when you don't have a job. Speaking to the job office will reward you with money. All right, then. So I guess we're doing good right here. It seems like we didn't actually need a job for today and it's about to hit 3 p.m. I'm not sure what happens now. It's exercise time. Is that mandatory? Q and E. Come on, let's go, let's go. All right, that's rep number one. I get. Is that good? Ah, we have to like hold the bar there or something. I strength went up two for that one. We're all done here as well. I'm just trying to really summarize where we got to go. So now it's shower time. Wait, they find me? No, thank goodness for that. All right, I guess we just stand here. I think then we're good with our clothes still kind of semi on. Um, well, that's going to be uncomfortable. All right, I guess we're all good as well. So I'm actually going to head downstairs. I was looking for a whip for someone. So I've got to try and look in some drawers, I guess. Let's take a look inside of Jude's desk here. Okay, we're opening this. What is that? Okay, we have a hand fan, although I don't actually need any of that. Oh, shoot. Okay, that dude is looking. Uh, I got to get out. <laughs> Oh boy, he saw me in there. That was not good. So it's now dinner time. My fatigue level is 100. So I'm actually good. I don't need to eat. I think I'm going to continually investigate some of these cells. We still got to find that whip. Just a second, there's a little joy icon. So this is Dane. Is that telling me where I got to hunt? 
That would be so much more easy if so. So let me see. That was so easy. There we go. We've got the whip. We can get a screwdriver as well. Oh boy. That was some good stuff right there. Let's put the whip away. We do not want to be seen carrying this. Hey, Cameo, I got your freaking thing. Nice. Favor completed. A call for arms. Good stuff then. So that is an objective done. I'm proud of myself. What should the plan be now? What we got? We've got free time. We could probably do another objective, I guess. Come on then, Jack. What's your objective? That tube of art paints hell sentimental value. And I've gone and lost it. I think I saw one. Or was that glue? We'll accept it anyway. Let's go and see if we can find it. So this one is right next to my cell, the tube of paint right there. We've got a circuit board. Um, I mean, Rick, yeah? What I'm actually gonna do before I go and find Jack again is I'm gonna go into, wait, is this my desk? Yeah, freaking it. Ooh. I got that in my desk. Let's not question that. We're going to put the component or the circuit board in there, should I say. Also, the screwdriver. That's some good stuff right there. Let's get this tube of paint then back to Jack. There you go, bud. Cheers. Lost property. Favor complete. That's two done. This is good. I think for day one, guys, I'm going to continually search some desks. I think I searched that one before. Ashley's desk. What the freak you're hiding in there, dude? You planning an escape too? Let's see. Mm, there's a few things in here. We've got soap. We've got a jar of ink. And we've also got a freaking officer who's going to... Didn't catch me. I'm good. My friend Officer Foster's lacking a final necessity for their upcoming spa day. Could you make me a manicure kit? It'd be nice. Okay, let's accept that one. So now we've actually got things that we've got to find. A file, a tub of hand cream, and also nail polish. That would be pretty damn hard to find. We've got to loot quite a few desks then in order to get that one. Let's check in this one here. Not looking like anything good's in there, to be honest. Uh, we're going to back out of this one. Oh, it's about to hit 10 p.m. One more desk. Uh, let's loot our own desk. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, shoot. I've just remembered as well. They can sometimes loot people and check their storage. To gamble leaving goods in there. I just really hope they don't search myself. This could be real bad right here. Okay, let's see. Shakedown list for today. Wait, so this... It can be randomized. Okay, did that say me, Cameo, and who? Cassidy, so we're good. It looks like it can be between a cell search or a shakedown. Mm, that means, is it safe to really bring goods to your cell? Like, oh. We also have a time limit as well. We can see where the goods are as well for where we need to make this freaking whatever. It is day at the spa. We're just going to focus on getting home though, man. It is 11 o'clock right now, so we're good. Let me just see if there's anything I can craft with this here. If I click craft, oh, I don't think anything's good with that. So by the looks of things, we can't quite craft any goods yet. Although we have had a pretty good first day, i got to say. Did a few objectives, and I would say all in all, it's been very successful. Might as well get some rest, man. I mean, you can see time passing in the top corner right there. And it's daytime again. And that has been the first episode of The Escapist 2, guys. A load of talking and stuff going on for this one. It was pretty intense, to be honest, but I think I'm going to escape this prison for sure. If you guys did also enjoy this video, definitely leave a like rating as well down below, so I'll know when to bring part two back for this one. But if you guys did enjoy this video, as I said before, why not leave a like rating down below? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, if you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.